Hey, Anthony Curtis here. Excited to introduce you to my secret weapon. Welcome to Site Scout. Site Scout is a demand side platform, also known as a DSP. So before we get into the details of Site Scout, let me show you real quick what a DSP is. You can see in this diagram, it shows you the relationship of a DSP to an ad exchange to an SSP. You and I, we are the advertisers, or at least we're representing our clients, the advertisers, over on the left-hand side in blue. The DSP, which is Site Scout, is right next to us, which is in between us and the ad exchange. There's actually multiple ad exchanges. Then on the other side are the publishers. So that would be NewYorkTimes.com, uh, CBSSports.com, USAToday.com, and, and etc. Uh, the SSP, that stands for Supply Side Platform. The publishers work with the SSPs in the same way that we work with the DSP, like Site Scout. Essentially, this is how the two sides come together, those who want to pay for advertising and those who have advertising to offer. And in the ad exchanges, there's probably 20 or 30 of them in, in the middle. That's where all the action happens, sort of like the, uh, the floor of the stock exchange. Just wanted to show you how DSP fits into the big picture. Now let's jump back over to Site Scout. So let me just give you a, a little overview of, of Site Scout's features. We'll definitely dive in more deeply in later videos. Site Scout points out some of their key features here. Real-time bidding. When they say real-time, they're not kidding. Most auctions happen fairly quickly, but look how real-time they're talking about here. It says we process over 250,000 ad opportunities per second and respond to them in under 10 milliseconds. So basically someone goes to visit usatoday.com. As soon as that page starts to load, Site Scout is informed that there is an advertising placement that's available to one of their customers, being us, and they very quickly do a bunch of calculations and database calls and determine whose ad should be shown in that spot based on who's bidding the highest you know, on that particular ad view on that website and for that type of user who is viewing their website at that time. It's, it's pretty amazing. Then real-time stats. Obviously, I mean, we're all accustomed to having our information right away and Site Scout is, is no different. They give it to you immediately. You don't have to wait for your campaign to end to see how it's doing. Uh, that would definitely defeat the purpose because we, we want to be able to optimize our campaigns in real time. So as soon as we start getting some ad views or impressions flowing through our campaign, we want to be able to look and see which website properties, publishers, are performing best for us. And those that are not performing well, meaning they are showing our ad but no one is clicking on them, uh, we just go ahead and turn those ones off. The longer we run our campaigns, the better they perform because we will eliminate all of the low-performing websites early on. Granular reporting, this is referring to how you can see exactly which websites your ads are running on. They don't lump all the websites together in one bucket and just give you stats on that. They give you stats on each individual website, which is exactly what we need to be smart advertisers. Maximum reach. Site Scout plugs into all of the major ad exchanges. Here are some of the major ones. Uh, you may have heard of DoubleClick, which is now owned by Google. Google Display Network, you may have also seen inside the Ad, AdWords interface. That's part of, uh, of Google as well. OpenX, Rubicon, obviously in the lower left, you recognize Facebook Ad Exchange, Pubmatic. So basically any ads that are running on any of these exchanges, we have access to through Site Scout. Lastly here, we have built-in ad serving. Uh, this is a pretty big deal, I and mean, these ads have to be served very quickly. When you're serving 250,000 advertising opportunities in under 10 milliseconds, you better be able to serve those advertising images real quick. You can't just host these banner ads on your own website and have you know, usatoday.com pull it from there because your server guaranteed is not fast enough. Before the days of Site Scout, you used to have to have your own ad server which was very expensive, and that was one of the barriers to entry for smaller advertisers like us. But again, thanks to Site Scout, they have removed all those barriers for us. All right, that's our Site Scout overview. Uh, let's dive in in the next video.